Hello everybody, it's Navy Boy here, and uh, doing a little kind of update video slash random gameplay kind of thing. Playing some GTA, and um, <clears throat> you might notice the game looks a good portions better. I know. <laughs> um, that's because it's on the PC, and uh, basically. Um, also, I have a graphical mod installed called, uh, basically it's called Ice Enhancer. Or it's like Ice Hanser. Ice Hanser. <laughs> but anyways, um... So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. We can... So, I have a bunch of mods for GTA. So, we can actually spawn any car. And, uh, let's just spawn a, a Chavos. Oh, wait. This is a real car. What is going on here? Yes. All the cars in the game have been replaced with real ones. See some couple Lamborghinis there. Um... And yeah, that's that's basically the, the the gist of it. Oh god, I hit my mouse. I'm playing with the controller, by the way, but my mouse still does work, so I can basically just do anything I want. Um, game looks pretty nice with the new graphical mod on there, so I can change it to uh, be raining if I want it to be raining, or if I just want it to be sunny, which means normal basically. Time set to noon. That looks a lot better. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn this menu off. So I also, uh, besides for just the cars and the uh, the graphical mod, I've also changed all the weapons in the game. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, doppelgangers still appear <laughs> in Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, it gets really bad sometimes, I swear. And uh, it's just sometimes it's like, oh, I'm at, I'm at an intersection. There's seven oddies. <laughs> like what? <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So we're driving. You might notice the frame rate's kind of dipping a little bit here and there. Um, that's mostly because of uh, Fraps. Fraps is taking a lot of video memory, I guess. Plus, with the new graphical mod, it takes me... Uh, you have to have a good PC to run this. I have a 570. Uh, or not 570. I have a 580, actually. Um, it's a $500 video card. Just bought it a couple months back. Um, and, yeah. It, can, it can't even run this at full maxed out. Um, <clears throat> and since GTA doesn't support SLI... You're kind of stuck with one video card, and this is probably one of the best video cards you can get out there right now. Besides for like a 590 or something. I'm just hitting cars now. Okay, so some of the other mods I have. Um, I have the Times Square mod, which basically makes it so that um, if we go to Times Square. Which I am, I have no HUD on, so it looks cooler. Let's go, let's go to Times Square. I believe it's over here. Come through. Yeah, I should have turned right there. Let's get a new car. How about that? Because this car is getting a little old. <laughs> eh, what do you want to go with? Let's go with uh, my favorite car. Nice old Porsche. Man, this thing's sick. So, as you might notice, hey, Starbucks. Yes, everything. Taco Bell, ABC. Everything is replaced with real advertisements. Basically, it just makes it makes it really realistic. And, uh, so yeah, that's one of the cooler things, I think, is, uh, you replace every single fake, crappy advertisement with a real one that looks nice and it makes it feel re really realistic. Um, it gives you more immersion if you're riding through this area. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let me think here. Anything else I want to show off? I haven't, I haven't showed off the weapons yet, I know that. Um, there's a lot of cars I could show off. Uh, let's see here. You want to drive a Testarossa? A Testarossa. Beautiful, beautiful car. Um, 
I'm trying to think of any other mods I've installed. Mostly it's been cars. Uh, I've also installed, of course, the graphical mod. Um, this is uh, 1.0.7.0. Um, so if anyone's wondering my version of... Um, I have the Steam version, so that's kind of what I'm kind of stuck with, unless I want to go out and pirate the game and stuff. I mean, basically, if you want to go back to the older versions, which there are some advantages. I mean, like, for instance, Ice Enhancer, the one mod I'm using right now to look to make it look nice. Um, it would look about twice as good, probably, if I had a uh, version um, 1.0.4.0. Um, but... I have the Steam version, and it's impossible to roll back, but, like, basically the only way you can, really, is to pirate the game and then transfer all the files from that version to Steam and, like, override them. But, uh, it takes a little bit of work. D dude, just, like, straight up, like, Steam, like, not not even the Steam version, just GTA in general, it's hard to mod. If you don't, if you, like, if you're a newcomer and you're just like, yeah, I have a copy of that game, let's do some mods for it. It's rather a complex at first. Uh, the main thing that was complex to me was trying to get version 1.0.4.0. Uh, when I was trying to roll back, there's a lot of methods people say that work, but they usually don't. Um, so I don't know. But that's just kind of what I... My experience from that, uh, I just... It, it's extremely complicated for that. Because there's really no guides out there on how to do it because you really can't unless you want to pirate the game. And a lot of people aren't going to publish a guide that says, as one of the steps, go ahead and pirate the game now. <laughs> like, that's just not going to happen. Um, but yeah, let's drive our Rolls Royce here. Yeah, I just love the cars. The cars is probably the thing that makes me love this um, love this game the most, and why I play it a lot is for the new cars. Uh, I love the way the cars handle in GTA 4. They have a really good weight to them, and um, although a lot of people say it's unrealistic and like, oh, there there's not that much, you know, because the cars lean too much. People say, oh, cars don't handle like that, and. I mean, I, I've driven a car before, and I can vouch and kind of say that it, they don't, but whatever. <laughs> I like the way they handle in this game, let's just say that. Um, got my Rolls Royce. It's like a $200,000 car. Let's see. I'll keep on spawning new cars so you can kind of just look at all the cars I have. Um, like, uh, one more thing I want to mention, or I want to note, is that, uh, don't ask how to get any of these mods working, or how to install them, don't ask where the, to download them at, don't, don't ask any of that, just, if you want to know where to download the mods at, straight up, the easiest way, just go to, uh, GTA 4 Mods on Google, first link, I believe the website's called GTA4Mods.net or something, and uh, that's probably pretty much where I found all of them at. Um, so I didn't do car by car, which a lot of people do that. They go and like, okay, I want to replace this car with this one and this one with this one. I didn't do that. I found a car pack, which had a lot of cars. And then I went and like, I was like, all right, I have some special cars though that I want. I'll replace those on you know, on a case by case basis. So for instance, this car pack that I had originally had something different. I had a Nissan or something like that. But anyways, I replaced it with this baby right here. Um, it, had, it had a regular pickup truck, but I kind of put like a four-wheel drive, like Chevy, whatever this is. Um, don't really know myself. <clears throat> don't really care either, <laughs> so don't bother telling me. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice car. And also, I replaced the... Uh, Oh god, what my wheels come off? Oh, one of them must have fell out. Oh, the, okay. I was like, wait, what? Um, so here we go. Here's a car that I replaced by itself. The uh, new Ferrari, uh, four, I think it's 458 Italia. Dude, this thing is sweet. I love the car, and it was not in the pack originally, but I put it in there. I think I replaced, like, some sedan. I mean, you can replace any car with any car. 
Uh, I can replace a semi truck with a Ferrari. The thing is, is that the handling, uh, you have to go into the handling file, and just replacing models is not enough. You actually have to go in the text editor and, you know, either put the handling the way you want it, or a lot of times cars will come with a, a handling file that will give you the uh, the text of what to put in the uh, the text file in the game. And so every car has its own handling, and you can also like edit colors. So like if you want your Ferrari to actually have the real Ferrari red and the real you know Ferrari like what they whatever they call blue, I think it's like Nero black and all that. If you really want all those exact colors, uh, they also have replacements for those too. Uh, but the thing is, if you replace black with Nero black, then every single car that's black in the game will have Nero black. Um, so yeah, you, that's one of the things you gotta watch out for. Um, and the weapons are pretty simple. Um, replacing weapon sounds, on the other hand, is a little, little more complicated. If you do a weapons pack and you just replace all of the weapon sounds all together, that's fairly simple. Um, you're just replacing, or you're not even replacing a file with a file, or you're replacing a part of a file with a part of a file. Um, and you have to, there's two different programs that you use uh, Spark 4, which is a, um, a kind of like a, uh, it kind of will help you replace files in, in the GTA uh, folder. And then there's also another thing called uh, four uh, A W or A U D, uh, which is basically GTA Four audio, um, and that will p help you replace the audio files in the game, because uh, the audio files are in different libraries, and you have to go there and open up the library and then replace a specific sound file, and then none of the sound files are labeled. So you either have to either know going into it which file, which sound files are which, or you have to you know look it up. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, so I can show off the weapons. Uh, let me find a place where I can kind of get into cover. Probably more fun if I can get into cover. <clears throat> yeah, let's go over here. So okay, I don't have the HUD on. Let me put on the HUD. That might make it a little easier to see. Display HUD on. I think that will do it. Yeah, I think that'll... Yeah, okay, so... I replaced the original Desert Eagle that's in the game. I replaced that with a... Um, with a silver new shiny Desert Eagle. Uh, I don't know why the weapon models are blurry like that. It must be something to do with uh, some... Field of death, of depth, <laughs> in the uh, ice. Oh god, this guy is red. I don't know. That's a glitch I've seen before too. I don't know what's up with that. Let me go ahead and just um, get rid of that more or less. I'll change the time of day to night. Or actually, I'll just put it as a. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently, it likes to. St I thought that I usually fixed it, but maybe I was a. Uh think of something else. So I changed the Desert Eagle and the sound file. I don't know how good you can hear that. I can actually track and I can change up some stuff here so you can hear it better. You're not going to be able to hear my voice though, so hold up. Here's the Desert Eagle. Okay. So now we have the Spaz 12. This is a replacement for the uh, the semi-automatic shotgun, obviously. It is a Spaz 12. Oh god. Nico's got some dance moves, he likes to do that. Alright, the MP5, which is a replacement for the MP5. This is my favorite gun in the game now. Every single sound effect is replaced also, just FYI. So this is the M4, but I changed it to an M16. 
looks a lot nicer. I like it. Full stock. It doesn't look weird. I just like the look of this M16 really a lot. I like the sound effect too. Okay, so let's keep changing guns. Okay, so the sniper rifle, I didn't change the skin. Because I don't use sniper rifle, so I don't really care. But the sound effect is changed. I don't use sniper rifles, though. And then, of course, the RPG, which it's the exact same. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and spawn the second weapon pack. That's in the car options. It's not even where I want to go. Okay. So, it starts out, the Glock is replaced with the Beretta. I really like the Beretta. So, I love this one. Okay, you, you know the pump shotgun in the original game? Didn't even have a stock or anything. This one, look, the police look so cool when they're firing this. Rather than the sawed off that they use normally. Really love the sound of it. It just is a great gun. I love this gun. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that red sky, though. Who knows? So I have a silenced uh, Mac 11, or, or or it could be a Mac 10. It's not actually silenced sound effect, though. It'd be too much of a hassle to replace just the Mac 10 sound effect, so I don't. But whatever. It sounds kind of silenced, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, and then I, I replaced the AK with a Thompson, actually. I completely... This was not in the original weapon pack. This is a brand new... Uh, I actually had... This is one I had to change the sound effect for, also. It shoots very fast. So the sound effect's brand new. After I changed the Thompson sound effect, that's when I kind of realized it's not worth it to go through every single weapon and find the exact sound file that you want. I do love the Thompson though. It's really nice. I'm glad that I changed it after the AK. And of course, sniper rifle the exact same, but the sound effect is different. And then of course everything else is the exact same. So there you go. Um, now is there anything else? So, oh god, that's a red. That's a really red sky. <laughs> Okay, so I have um, a lot of different things you can do. So, okay, let's think of teleport teleporting. I can go anywhere I want. Uh, that's something that I definitely like a lot. I'm on top of the tower. Okay, that sky is really annoying. I don't 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 know what's up with that. Um. Anyways. Give me that Desert Eagle Sun. Uh, let's go ahead and jump off. Eh, why not? Oh god, we're not gonna make it. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, so, in, in the options of menu, you can basically change anything you could possibly conceive. Give it a second, wait for it to come back. Alright, so you can do god mode, so you can't die no matter what. You can turn off gravity, which... I... Oh no. See, this is just... I have no control. I literally am just watching him now. <laughs> okay, good. We're safe. <laughs> okay, this is not... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I can do nothing. Oh, okay, he's got he got up. It's no biggie. Nope. Oh, gee, I can't I can't control him. I can turn gravity back on though. <laughs> gravity is off. 
Oh. See, this is, uh... <laughs> this, is, this is not what I want. <laughs> Yeah, that got to hurt. Uh, so you can turn the police off, make them ignore you, and then not dispatch. You can turn unlimited ammo on. Never wanted. Of course, awesome. Um, it's great for uh, another thing to have, too, I can show you here. Mission help. If you just want to beat the game and you don't care about, the, you know, some missions really hard, it gives you these options. You can teleport to the first valid destination marker. So if, you, if there's a long driving sequence, you teleport, boom. Teleport to the spawned cars, boom. Blow up all cop cars, boom. Kill a pedestrian attached to a valid destination marker. Kill an enemy ped attached to it. So you can basically kill... If there's a, if you're chasing a car, boom, blow it up. And then you can select all the missions. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. You can basically make it so there's a speedometer and uh, either miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Um... You can clear your wanted level if you are wanted. You can unlock the map, which means that even in the beginning of the game, you can go to any of the islands and there's no police to stop you. You can open various doors, which basically makes it so that some locked doors will be open. You can save your coordinates to a, that so that you can teleport there later. Uh, you can increase your wanted level, go through doors, explode nearest car. Oh. <laughs> Gotta stop hitting that button. I don't know. I keep slipping. Oh, sorry. Oh man, I'm really sorry. Oh jeez. Oh, oh god. <laughs> um, you can sit down in midair. It's a little trick. <laughs> you can make it so that the pigeons will appear on the map, and you can basically find all the pigeons really easily. Uh, you can get s put s your phone into sleep mode. You can set or freeze your wand level. You can hide your HUD and radar. Um, yeah, you can fast run, which I'm not sure if, if this is faster. Not not sure. Let's see if I hit it right in the middle. No, get away. Don't touch I don't know what that does. <laughs> um, let's see here. Mobile radio. Have the radio anywhere you want. <laughs> Super jump. Never tried this out. Let's see how high you, it is. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a good example. That's not a super jump. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I don't know. You can set the speed of the super jump. Clean you up. Add force to player. It's like, ah, I'm just sitting here. Oh, oh, Lord. I love doing that. Okay, you won't, he won't stand up. Stand up. Hey, dude. Internet. Just want to go on the internet randomly. Uh, got to log out of this. <laughs> um, clear area. Boom. Relationship, you can change all your relationships. I know this is kind of boring, but I'm just kind of showing this. Freeze player. I can't move. Okay, so car options. Of course, the basics, you can fix your car, flip it if it's flipped over. You can rotate it. You can change your color. You can make the alarm go off, turn the engine off. Um, just, you can actually make neon, uh, undercar neon lights, you know what I'm talking about? Let's see, I actually have a car, wouldn't I? Let's get my good old Chavos. Oh god, the sky's red. Alright, go up, car options. Get some neon lights. Come on, I can actually, hold on, let's make the time night so it looks cooler. Freeze time. That's some neon lights, yo. Game looks pretty good in the nighttime. Uh, if I had the older version of the game, it would look amazing. 
Like, it would look beyond belief, but it looks fine now. I think all the reflections look good and everything like that. Um, so you can spawn any car you want. You can spawn pedestrians and bodyguards. You already seen that. You can spawn any model in the game. Um, and by model, I mean change your dude. So I gotta get out of the car for this one. Uh, I can change whoever I want to be. I want to be Jason. <laughs> I am now this dude. Um, of course, they have Nico. I want to go back to Nico. My boy, Nico. Apparently, he has a backpack. Hmm. Another thing that I like, too, is that uh, you can... If I, if I close is where I need to go. And then you can go special. Give him the back, uh, the uh, duffel bag from the bank mission anytime you want. It's pretty nice, actually. I like that a lot. And of course, object spawning. Kind of obvious. You're spawning objects. Hold on. I, got, I forgot to do this. Dang it, a little too low, of course. So with model uh, object spawning, you can spawn any basically thing in the game, like from a tree to like a bush. Um, teleporting is obvious. Teleporting save means that you can teleport to any area you want as long as you save it there first. Time, you can change the time. Weapons, weapons. Weather is weather. Let's make it raining. That put cloudy. I was like, wait, where's the rain? Everything looks more shiny in the rain. So yeah, that, that's more or less all I've uh, changed with this game. At least for the most part. Um, the trainer is, a, is basically the number one tool you want to have. Definitely get a trainer before you do anything. Because you're not going to be able to spawn any cars. Even if you change the cars, you're not going to be able to watch the You know, you're not going to be able to see it unless you have a trainer and you can spawn that car yourself. Uh, the weapons, of course, same thing. You want to be able to have the weapons and all that. Teleporting is very useful. Um, yeah. It's it's overall a great mod. And, um, I, it, yeah, trainer's amazing. Um... The Ice Enhancer, I think that you sh if you can run GTA 4 pretty well and you know do fine with it, I think that you might want to try it out. But uh, like I said, just be careful because it's uh, it's it's a it's a definitely a graphics hog. Um, but yeah, basically that's about it. I mean that's all I really gotta say. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So don't ask me for any links to anything. Because that ain't happening, but um, but yeah, it's been fun, kind of showing you off the mods of GTA 4. Um, yeah, you know, really, if you have a question, it's better off you try to learn by yourself. Cause uh, it's 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 very GTA modding is complicated, and I had to jump into it without any help. So I guess you guys can figure it out too. Um. Yeah, that's about it, guys. So, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And, um, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you guys then.